Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Looks like some good news. These storms are just not forming over the Susquehanna Valley. We were watching a few in the Poconos. They dried out. There were actually a few that came pretty close to the mason Dix line. They have dried up. Uh, so we're kind of in between two areas. Nothing on the radar right now. Just check with the Severe Storm Forecast Center. They have lowered our risk uh, from a slight risk to a marginal risk, a one in five uh, instead of a two in five. So not a big deal, I don't think. Uh, you can kind of see how those clouds just, they aren't billowing up uh, as you would expect when we get thunderstorms. We have a lot of the ingredients are just not coming together. One of them is the winds. You notice a westerly and southwesterly breeze out there. It could be gusting up near 20 miles an hour. We're 92 right now with a dew point near 70. Makes it feel like 97. Luke Bryant concert in Hershey this evening. Again, watch for an isolated storm. Most of the time it should just be warm, muggy and a little breezy until the sun sets and temperatures in the 80s to even near 90 degrees. Moderate uh, pollen counts for tomorrow. Most spores are higher quality, moderate UV index, about a 25 minute burn time. Here are the numbers. Everybody touching near or above 90. We said that today would probably be the hottest day and I think that's the case because things uh, start to try to cool down a bit for tomorrow. You notice 70s off to the north and west and that's with some sunshine up there. Dew points lower 60s. We're sitting here near 70. Well if you look at the satellite view, yeah they're in the 70s but you notice this kind of line of clouds. That is with a cool front. You notice a westerly breeze and a southwesterly breeze. That's the cool front. That was, we thought, maybe the focus for some storms. And it could still, as it tries to drop into the valley, even after dark, spark a few thunder showers. But I think the threat of severe weather is looking less. Now, you notice this strong southerly flow and that west-southwesterly flow. There is a little bit of a wind shift. Uh, but again, it's just there's so much dry air above us getting storms up in New York, storms to our south. We're just kind of in between right now and really having a tough time. I mentioned the uh, uh, lessening of the severe risk. They just put this out, the, the National Weather Service. Sealands Grove's Pottsville up toward the Schuylkill Valley. Little better chance up there of some storms. Most of us going to miss those, though. You can see not much happening through seven or eight. Maybe a few thunder showers, but the weakening as they come on through. Even in the overnight, I could see a shower. Same story tomorrow. They're going to be spotty storms. And tomorrow, temperatures may only get up to near that 80 degree mark. As we head into Saturday, I think we're up near 90 again. And it looks like a pretty much a dry day. We can't rule out that stray thunder shower. So heading into the weekend again tonight, a low to moderate chance, much lower chance on Saturday. Sunday is looking like a better day of some uh, chance of some storms coming in, especially late in the day. So it starts out kind of sticky. We'll watch for a few thunder showers tomorrow. It doesn't look like anything severe or heavy, but a few of those could last into tomorrow evening. Saturday's mainly a dry day. Another hot one, too. A few more storms will be around on Sunday and maybe a few on Monday with temperatures still near 90.